Pokemon Blaze Black 2 and Volt White 2 Redux are finally released. In this video, I will be going over what new features are in store, my review as a beta tester, and a tutorial on how to download. If you want to skip to any part, I will have timestamps below. But let's start with the question of, what is Redux? Well, it's basically a heavily updated version of Dreano's older hack from 2012. And since then, a ton of more ROM hacking tools have been developed, as well as a desire from the community to make a harder ROM hack. You see, after all of Dreano's 6 ROM hacks and the popularization of harder difficulty hacks and hardcore nuzlocks, the community wanted Dreano to up the ante. Which brings in Apex Cubed, a skillful ROM hacker with the intention of making this game harder, as well as add a bunch of cool features like those seen in Renegade Platinum. So let's get into what exactly he changed. The original game had a problem with two little encounters, but now there is a gifted monkey early on that corresponds to what starter you picked. Additionally, this woman gives you a random egg, just like in Renegade Platinum, that can turn into 16 different Pokemon. Verbank Complex inside and outside now have different met locations, and Rourke now gives you a random fossil. Fairy type was added, new moves from other generations as well as Legends Arceus are in the game, custom fights, and you can catch all 649 Pokemon, new trainer rosters, new level curve, new legendary encounters, more post game, new type and move changes, new learn sets, and so much more. But most importantly, all major fights have been changed, which brings me now to my review of the game as a beta tester. Now, this review will cover the challenge mode, but some aspects of the normal mode do apply. What you have to understand is Redux is not like any Dreano game. If I could give one theme to the game, it would be resource management. Yes, you get more encounters, but the gym leaders and other fights are extremely hard. But the player usually does have ways to play around this difficulty. Charon itself is not bad with the ability to utilize Charm, Tickle, and other moves. Roxy is pretty tough, but this NPC in Verbank gives you Bulbasaur or Wartortle, who can remove Toxic Spikes. And then we get to Berg, which is a bit unfair with a very fast and offensive team in a double battle, which sometimes feels like you have no answers for. But then we get to Elisa, who is a pretty fun triple battle, and that's just some of the changes. There are more difficulty spikes, like each Hoenn Gym Leader getting completely revamped, and Elite Four having double and triple battles. Overall, this hack is actually very hard, probably taking numerous attempts to beat as a hardcore Nuzlocke. But it does have a lot of cool features, and the player can sometimes make strategies for fights. Difficulty-wise, I would rank this significantly harder than Renegade Platinum, easier than a Kaizo hack, and around the same difficulty as something like Vintage White. If you want an easy-to-read doc on the challenge mode bosses, I'll link it in the description. Now I will show you how to download and play this game. If you click the top link in the description below, you will get this file right here, Pokemon Volt White 2 Redux. If you open it up, you're gonna have this, this won't be in here, this is the dumped game. You will need this though. You have the documentation, which is a bunch of information about the game, learn sets, wild locations, all that pretty important stuff. And then you'll have the patch, which you will be applying to your White 2 game, and then also the patcher. So, in order to patch the game, you're going to open the patcher, open this file, and then you have the X, X Delta UI open. You're going to want to open the patch, the X Delta file, and then the source file is going to be your dumped version of the game. And then output file, you just put Volt white to redux.nds patch and there you go. So let's open it up in Desmume and there we go. Now if you want a PK hex for rare candies, repels, anything like that, you do export backup memory, name it whatever you want, open PK hex. Open the file that you just exported, and then you can make whatever changes you want, give yourself for candy, full restores, anything like that, and then once you're done, you do export, and then you got to make sure you save it as a .save file. Save there, and then do file, imports, and then that file that you just exported. And there you go. 
If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. I'm also doing Redux Hardcore Nuzlocke on my Twitch channel. It will be linked in the description. Also, check out my other videos. I do a lot of Hardcore Nuzlocke, a lot of challenge runs, stuff like that. But anyways, you have a good day, and thanks for watching.